How's it going YouTube? This is Erkin from HDD Recovery Services. Today I will show you one reason why your drive should maybe make its way here for recovery. So I got a hard drive connected to this channel right here. Uh, it's a 3 terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive. I'm going to turn it on. So some of you might be familiar with these sounds. These sounds that are coming from the drive, when it clicks around 12 times and then spins the motor down, are related to head assembly problems. Up here, I have a donor drive. This unit works. So inside of this video, you guys will see how this clicking hard drive will be brought back to life and how I will be able to access the information that's on there with help of the tools and the procedures that I'm gonna apply. So after the head replacement, we have a pretty interesting uh, situation going on. Even though the parts were compatible, uh, the unit comes up, but it doesn't come ready. It stays in the busy mode, and it keeps throwing these messages in the terminal, um, LAD 00000047. Uh, there are some critical uh, system files that need some work. In order to do that, we need to unlock the terminal. Right now, the terminal is blocked. I can't bring it up by con Control Z. Uh, the reason for shorting the read channel is that the terminal can get responsive. Uh, by default, these drives, these ST 3000 DM001 drives often enough when they have complications they will block the terminal and will not allow you to uh, feed any type of terminal commands uh, using um, any type of utility in my in my case I'm using PC3000 so in order to uh, get access to the terminal we need to short out um, a couple of points on the printed circuit board. Now these points are always different for different um, PCB numbers 
and in our case this is 10066-4987 and um, if you guys look closer there are kind of a couple of marks to go by here so I was all uh, I already traced them from the back side but uh, if you have the same board and you're looking for uh, you know points of contact to shorten out the reed channel uh, these two holes where the bolts go through and then there is another hole right here for uh, the guide pin now then we have two sets of vehicles right here we're gonna ignore them and then there is a larger set uh, for the vehicles next to it it's the two outer ones that we need to short out for the reed channel these two are right channel if I remember correctly but those two are reed channel and uh, that's what we're going to be focusing on so the, the technique that I've found works best and I got this from one of the forums is to put a little bit of uh, solder onto the via hole to kind of um, make it slightly taller to make it stand out a little bit okay as you guys can see now let me just turn, turn down the brightness a little bit as you can see comparing to the rest of the surface these two um, pads right here they, they do stand out so what works best for me in this regard is just to get a is just to get a piece of uh, tin foil and put it around the finger and when the appropriate time comes to short them out you just go and hold it in place and that begins shortening procedure now this is my favorite part where we have to short it out so all I got on my finger is a little bit of a uh, tin foil After like five minutes of trying to catch that moment where the unit has to be shorted, I just turned the camera off and at that time I got it. So if you guys can see, I'm pressing Ctrl Z and I'm getting the terminal up here. So now we can actually communicate with the drive. So I'm going to go into um, system files and I'm going to try to read and write to some of the system files that are not very critical. Those are the ones that we can test. Um, writing ability of the device and uh, if the ability is there we're gonna have to modify some of the stuff so now that we've done it on the copy zero we're gonna have to do the same thing for the copy number number one so we're gonna read the same FID same system file and once it's read we're gonna fill it up with zeros once it's filled with zeros we will be able to work with this unit. As you can see it's filled with a bunch of unnecessary garbage so we're just gonna select all fill it with zeros and write it back to the drive. perfect so that just finished up as well and one last thing I wanted to do is uh, modify the second copy of the safe mode pages think we're ready to give it a try
And as you guys can see, the drive actually did come ready. I'll pull up the passport for it. So there is our passport. So this is the first sector. And this is the last sector. So by being able to read the first and last sector, uh, we have access to the entire uh, surface of all the disks inside. So right now it's just um, time for imaging. As you guys can see behind me, the imaging process is being done specifically on that hard drive. Um, we, I didn't expect to run into a, a problem with media cache, but it was quickly handled through the terminal. Now, the biggest challenge in this whole process, I would say, was to catch that moment where the read channel needed to be shorted out. And um, that took me probably a good five to ten minutes uh, of trying repeatedly, one attempt after another, because the window for that shorting period is so small that unless you get it perfectly, uh, the drive is not going to unlock the terminal for you. So I really appreciate you guys taking time off your day to uh, watch this episode. And if you have any questions regarding the subject, feel free to post them in the comments below. If you have a drive that failed and you need data recovery services, you may also call the number on the screen right now. Or in the description of this video, there is a link where you can actually go to our website and request a service explaining your specific situation. Thank you very much for watching. Again, hit like if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. This channel is all about data recovery, so if you're interested in the subject, stay tuned. We'll see you next time.